Neat Games. Hello everyone, I'm back with devlog number four. This cool tree is at my school I work at. It grows up into this fence ceiling and then the vines grow over it and under it. It looks super cool. So these days I've been pretty busy at work and also playing some indie games on my channel. But I got to work a little bit this week on my game. So I wanted to make a new enemy. So on the last devlog I remembered that cool snake enemy that I made in Heat Wavy. So I decided hey I should put that in this game. It's a pretty cool looking enemy. So I used the same color theme as the jellyfish enemies to make this guy. So the jellyfish are kind of like the main enemy. And my tentative story is that they're actually nanobots that have taken over other animals. So I guess this nanobot took over some sort of flying snake dragon thing. So it's kind of like a techno virus. And since most of my animations use frame by frame, I decided to make him squish frame by frame. And my monitor was square because that was actually my work monitor. But here I am back home putting it into Unity. I just made some simple animations with the squishing and the rising. It's hard to see here because it's sped up so much. I wanted to give him a little fin up top just for fun. And then I ran into some animation issues. I'll show you what I ended up doing after this little clip. And then once I had him set up, I used this echo code that I learned from Blackthorn Prod, and I'll show you guys his video that I learned from. And I put the little enemy scripts on, and I put the echo code. I believe that's what he called it. That's what I named the, the C-sharp code. And here I am just messing around with it. I slow it down a little bit here, but you can kind of see the echo effect. So now I'll show you what it looks like now. So here in Unity, I just put the little guy here. I just called him Enemy Robo Snake. And if we take a look at his prefab, he just has this flying enemy controller. Uh, you can just put patrol points basically. I have him going in a square. You can do move speed. And then if the player is close enough, um, he chases the player and then he waits for so long. I'm gonna adjust this later. This was just for testing. And here's the echo effect. Basically, it has a timer and then it instantiates an object. So here's the animation for Mr. Robo Snake here. Just a simple up and down. And then this is the body that is instantiated. And the body goes like this. You, it disappears. So this is what the final product looks like so far. Here's the snake, leaving the cool trail behind. I put a little damage collider. Oh, he knocked me off. Let's see if I can run away. So now that I'm far away, he goes back to his patrol points, and I like that effect. I'm considering if I'll take away the outline, then it might look better. But for now, this is good enough and I can stomp on him as usual. Here's a little frog. So yeah, that's the enemy I made. And if you look at my character, the same time I learned that echo code, I learned about Unity trail system. I like this little simple white trail I have. So if we pause the game, I'll show you guys where I learned that. So this video by Mr. Blackthorn Prod, how to make a cool trail effect. This is, you know, basically what I learned to do. Oh, that's my cat saying hello. Hi, kitty. Her name is Manu. 
It means garlic in Korean. Oh, she's hungry or something. Hold on, Mane. I'm just gonna teach them real quick. So here's the trail. So he just goes through it real simple. Unity trail system is very easy. But the cool thing he teaches is towards the end here is basically this echo code. And it lets you instantiate the cool echo effect. And I use this in a different game for like a dash and what and what else? I use it for a boss in another game, so I always thought it looked really cool. So if you guys want to learn that, definitely check out this video. And ooh, where's my there's my unity. So yeah, this is the the new enemy. I need to come up with some more variations of enemies and some new bosses, so maybe I'll use that again. Ooh. Also, I made these checkpoints look like cats, wooden cats, before they were just signs. And whoa. This guy just patrols back and forth. But I have quite a few enemies. This enemies folder. Um, it's all super basic code. I need to figure out some new ways to do enemies. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got to do this week. I'm going to work more on the game definitely this weekend, so I'll have another devlog. So thanks again for watching and thanks again so much for getting so many subscribers so quickly. You guys made me want to make devlogs on a regular basis, so I'll try to keep it up. And today I'm going to play uh, Thomas Brush's new game. I watch his YouTube a lot as well. It's called Never Sung. Do I have the Steam page? Here it is. I'll be playing this game on my channel. He uses really cool Photoshop art. And you, if you guys want, you can check out my Stardew Valley for some relaxing gameplay. You can study to it. You can read to it possibly. And then I'm playing Terraria, which is super hard. But yeah, that's the end of this devlog. And I'll be back with another one. Have a good day. See you later. Neat game.